modern technology, eh? BMWs of indicators. Right, almost a week of owning my E39. I'm impressed. Listen to this. Right, so I bought this on Sunday. I bought this BMW E39 on Sunday, and I spent the whole day Sunday from about well, not the whole day from about 12 o'clock. Can you hear that? Yeah, from about 12 o'clock Sunday, I spent the, the rest of the day hoovering, polishing, shampooing, and trying to bring some black leather seats back to life, which I've done a bloody good job, if you ask me. That, that was my Sunday. I then had Monday off work because something I was supposed to be doing didn't turn up so I thought I'd take advantage and spend the whole day, literally the whole day, polishing this car. So I mopped it, polished it. After spending a day polishing it, I parked it at work and a bird sh all over it, which is pretty standard where I work, which really annoyed me. So after almost a week of owning this E39, I've found a couple of little, um, little snags a little bit of snag list I suppose I've got if you have a look there I've got almost like an error on the heating and I think it's something to do I've done a bit of research and I think it's something to do with the um, amber I'm trying to think of the word now the it begins with an A bear with me amber at, at, there I goes I got it the ambient sensor um, it's little sensor that's at the front of the car underneath the, the front bumper and it basically picks up the outside temperature that's not working so I've also got something else that's not working is the heating so the heating does work it blows out of the the blower on the window so if I'm wrong leave a comment in the comments that always sounds strange to me that yeah leave, leave drop me a message but from what I can gather I've done a bit of research the blower's working on the windscreen but not out of the dash I get air blowing out onto the windscreen, but I don't get air coming out my vents. From what I can gather, that's two things. It could be the ambient sensor, that's a possibility, or it could be the um, the regulator, the thermostat regulator. Look at me with all these big words. Yeah, I think that's the thermostat uh, regulator. Which look at this. Watch, look, BMW driver indicate. See. We can use them. I'm sure over time I'll stop doing that. The temperature regulator. So I've ordered one of those. I managed to get a brand new one on Amazon for like 15 quid, which I think is an absolute bargain. So I've ordered that. I've also ordered the ambient sensor. I'm hoping it's going to be just the ambient sensor and I end up with a 15 pounds brand new spare part because it saves me taking up at the glove box. But I've looked, watched a video on YouTube and it looks easy enough to change, so I'm not really stressing. I think I should be able to do that myself with a small bit of scratching heads and some curse words. So uh, other than that, um, I want to change the stereo. I'm not really impressed with the stereo. I want to try and get some kind of more modern, like tablet style stereo that I can hook up to my phone and listen to the old Spotify. What else have I got? I've got a little bit of a dent on the rear wing which I think I'll be able to do myself. Paint works pretty good for the age. It's 25 years old. It's had some kind of paint, uh, paint job done on it, which is all right. It's not great. Oh, I just noticed the brakes are squeaking. I'm gonna go and take some B-roll footage of my new car. I know some of you are just gonna be like, it's not even an M5. Oh, it's not even a real one. But you know, it's, it's good. For me, it's great. Getting lots of squeak. I think that's because I've washed the wheels recently. So overall, I'm actually really impressed with my BMW E39. I think it's a lovely looking car. Uh, it is a bit of a head turner, which I do like. I miss that after having the Ranger. And I love the sound, listen to this. Yes. It doesn't like bumps though. You have to creep over bumps. beauty of having um, lowered cars but yeah thanks for watching my first video on my BMW E39